Hi everyone, welcome to Ace Engineering Academy, Ace Online. So, Railtel has announced apprenticeship for engineering students and diploma students. Now, let us see what is that notification and what are the requirements for that. So, to go and see the notification, you have to use this URL railtel.in slash careers.html. So, if you go here, so current job openings will be there. So, if you click on current job openings, so here apprenticeship training at Railtel Corporation of India Limited. So, this is the notification that is there. So, if you click on the notification, here is the detailed notification which was released on November 6th, 2024. So, this is the notification that was released on November 6th, 2024. And here you can see graduate engineers, diploma engineers, apprentice type is there. And this is for electronics and telecommunication, computer science, civil engineering, electrical and electronics engineering people. Okay. So, these are the departments here. Then states and location. If you see states and location here, corporate office, East Kidwainagar, Delhi, regional Gurgaon office, CNOC, regional office, DLI, Jaipur, Lucknow, Gorakhpur, Bareli, Amritsar, Roh Rohtak. Then Chandigarh, Jodhpur, Ajmer, Bikaner, Jaipur. So, there are many locations here, regional offices. So, numbers to be engaged, total number of apprentices that are being recruited are 40 here and the duration of training will be one year. So, apprentice training will be one year and there will be a stipend. So, there will be a stipend here. There will be a stipend of 14,000 rupees for engineering graduates, for graduate engineers and 12,000 rupees for diploma engineers. So, this is the stipend that is being provided and duration is one year and total number of posts that are being engaged will be 40 here. Now, let us go and see the further details here. So, coming to educational qualifications here. So, educational qualification full time full time regular 4 years graduation in engineering technology full time regular 3 years diploma in engineering and technology from colleges approved by AICT with aggregate 60% marks in the stream branch of electronics and telecommunication or telecommunication or computer science and engineering or civil engineering or information technology or electrical engineering or electronics engineering or any other combination of engineering branches where electronics is one of the main branches like electronics and instrumentation or passed sections A and B of institute, institution examinations of Institute of Engineering India in the above mentioned relevant branches of engineering or passed graduate membership examination of the Institute of Electronics and Telecommunication Engineers that means IETE examination. Okay, So, this is the educational qualification that was given. Then no engineering graduate or diploma holder who has undergone or possessing training or possesses training or job work experience for a period of one year or more after the attainment of any of these qualifications mentioned at para number one shall be eligible for being engaged as an apprenticeship under the act. So, that means the candidates who are doing job or apprenticeship, they should not apply for these posts. Okay, who have completed their graduation or diploma, so they only can apply for this. Candidates who have completed three years post their graduation diploma will not be considered for apprenticeship. See, if your engineering is completed in 2021, okay, or diploma is completed in 2021, you should not apply for this post. So, try to remember that. So, if your degree is completed three years before, so, you are not eligible to apply for this one. So, age limit is 18 to 27 years. Relaxation for SC, ST, OBC to be as per prescribed presidential government directives as on the notification of this letter. Candidates who have already completed their apprenticeship or terminated their apprenticeship midway or pursuing their apprenticeship with other organizations are not eligible. So, kindly go through all these details carefully. So, your eligibility, non-eligibility, all these things will be 
considered then candidates who have obtained their qualification through the distance learning part time mode are not eligible to apply so this is the thing then the last date to apply is 30th november 2024 so last date to apply is 30th november 2024 the reservation policy as prescribed in the apprenticeship act 1961 and apprenticeship rules 1992 will be followed however in case of non availability of candidates in the reserved categories it will be filled from other reserved categories or general categories. So, this is given here. Apprenticeship engagement will be strictly for a period of one year in various locations of Kolkata, Sikandrabad, Hyderabad and its territories, then Delhi, Mumbai or any other location on pan-India basis. Okay. So, this is given. Numbers, locations shown are only indicative and may undergo change without any further notification. Try to go through this carefully. The eligible candidates are required to apply online. So, they have to apply online through the portal HTTPS colon. HTTPS colon NATS dot education dot gov dot in. So, this is the URL that you have to use in order to apply for this https colon double slash nats dot education dot gov dot in so this is the thing merely meeting eligibility criteria does not assure engagement so try to remember this carefully here then on receipt of online application through the portal a merit list will be prepared on regional state and location wise and preference will be given to the government institution pass outs so, the people who have passed out from the government institutions, they will be given higher priority. From the merit list, candidates will be shortlisted for appearing in interview. Selection will be purely through interview out of the shortlisted candidates. Only those candidates who are medically fit according to corporation's norms will be considered. RCL shall, be, shall have no obligation to give regular employment to apprenticeships. The apprentice shall have no right to claim regular employment from RCL based on this apprenticeship at any point of time. Okay. So, try to remember all these qualifications, dear students. So, interested candidates are required to follow the guidelines given in the student manual of NATS available at NATS 2.0 portal. So, go through this NATS portal. So, nats.education.gov.in in that assets manual and establishment user manual is there. So, if you go through that user manual, every detail will be there how to apply for these posts and all these things. Okay. So, try to go through this website carefully and apply online. So, there will be an interview. Once you clear the interview, you will be given a chance of apprenticeship. Remember that if you got apprenticeship and your training is completed also, you should not claim for job in RCIL. Okay. So, try to remember this and apply for this apprenticeship. Okay. Thank you. All the very best.